what is going on today guys Sam here and today we're bringing you another build now uh, this is uh, a build with uh, new and used parts and pretty much we uh, we didn't have too much to spend so rather than buying <coughs> sorry rather than buying uh, a really low power PC for new parts we decided to go second hand and get a slightly better one so uh, I'm gonna go through the prices here we have the case this is a gigabyte GZ MAO3 it was a foreign one but the keyboard never came so Amazon gave us 10 euro 10 euro back this originally cost 60 but since we got the 10 euro back it cost 50 uh, the motherboard uh, the motherboard is uh, an Asus A85 MLE uh, this was also 50 uh, it, I've actually used this motherboard in the past and I have no bad complaints about it now uh, hard drive 500 gigabyte WD KVR blue this was 40 euro and here we have uh, an AMD AH5600K now it did actually come with we bought it with a water cooler and uh, we got the back plate and stuff but I don't think we're going to be using it for this build that's why you see if we uh, but I don't think we're going to use this because it's a bit overkill for this and also the stock cooler I never really liked it so what we're going to do for that is we're going to use my FX8320 uh, cooler now the RAM RAM is 4 gigabytes of G-Skill Ripjaw this is a uh, 13 the speed is 1333 uh, obviously it's DDR3 but uh, yeah well we didn't we didn't really need to need too much it, this is going to be aimed at kind of like HTPC and maybe mild gaming but even in my rig now I I still use 4 gigabytes of RAM and there's nothing wrong with it and uh, Windows was 30 so the entire cost has come to around 250 uh, so yeah let's get into unboxing these parts okay, so I'm just gonna make a little bit of room here remove CPU over here and this is going to be a big screen uh, PC and as you can see here we uh, we have uh, our 42 inch smart TV which I've been having a lot of fun controlling with my phone uh, but we actually are we actually did a video about that uh, a few days ago and yeah it's a good TV deadly for the price and now I'm gonna move and now the hard drive RAM and the cooler can all go up here and windows the window so now here. now the, this for the price and how it looks for the price is not too bad it is uh, a micro ATX uh, case and uh, well I think I actually think it's kind of nice if you look at um, cases like the Corsair cases the, uh, they're a very sleek looking and this one kind of follows the same path foam in there. <laughs> I was wondering where it went. I if we just turn this back over. And let's open, open this. You 
you can see that there is actually a power supply in there. Now this is a 450 watt power supply if I'm not mistaken. And uh, there's more. that's more than enough power, especially for this build. Uh, and for cable management I don't think we're going to be doing any, to be perfectly honest. Because, look on the other side, if I can ever get these screws out. Oh, screws every time. One to come off. Go. As you can see, there is literally like no cable management physically possible. We might be able to get one of these behind here, but that's probably the best we're going to possibly do. So yeah, we can kind of look at the front. This is one. This is what I kind of like about this case. That electricity annoys me so much. But uh, yeah, as you can see, here's, the, here's our power button. Uh, I believe that is a little LED. We have four USB ports. We don't really need too many. We have this really small reset switch that I think we. Oh no, that's actually a hard drive to be like. It looks like a reset switch. Sorry, my bad. Anyway, um, we have uh, we have your headphone and mic. And of course, in here you have ventilation for a front fan. So here we have our motherboard. And now this is an Asus A85MLE. Originally, if you buy this, um, if you buy this new, it's about a seventy euro motherboard. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. So if you convert it to different currencies, but I guess you can check that yourself. Now, we, since we got it for 50, it is actually quite a good deal. Now, the reason I say it's a good deal is because if you look at the rear I.O., uh, you have you have HDMI, you have well, obviously Ethernet, but you have USB 3, eSATA, you have pretty much everything you need, and a little bit more. And now, as you see, we have... Uh, Obviously, our place for CPU. This motherboard only has two RAM slots. That'll be just fine for what we have. And we get seven SATA ports. Now, these are SATA 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, that's how they're numbered. And we have uh, three places for USB 2.0, one USB 3. Uh, obviously our front I.O. connections. It is powered by a 4 pin and an 8 pin. And we have a CPU fan. Uh, and PWR fan, power fan. Uh, we have another fan header here. And if I'm not mistaken, that's all the fan headers on the motherboard. Mm -hmm. Looks like that's all the fan headers on the motherboard, but we can control other ones through uh, Molex. I think that's not really a problem. And yeah, that's pretty much the motherboard. There's nothing special to it. But for the price, it was good. Alright, so here we have our, uh, our APU. Uh, it's an AMD A8 5600K. And here we have some uh, white spirits or alcohol, white, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm just going to give this a clean off and I'll come back to you when that's done. Okay, so now I'm just going to give it a rub with a lint free cloth. We have it all cleaned off. Well, that should pretty much do. It's clean. Okay. 
and it is also in the motherboard. Okay, so here we have our FX cooler. Now the reason is the reason we decided to go for this was because it's not just like the normal stock one. It is a little bit beefier, but it's not overkill. As you can see, it does have copper heat pipes in it, and the base is copper. And uh, of course, I think it has a slightly bigger fan. And also something I learned myself is these are actually made by Cooler Master. Hopefully you can see that writing there. I'm not sure. But yeah, I learned something new myself. So the CPU fan is here. Which means we probably just should just put it on like this. on and now we just close the retention clips there's that and you there and that's how you install an FX uh, heatsink yeah. CPU cooler so here we have our, uh, our G skill rip drill. Now I was actually worried that they would not go in here because of this, since it is a slightly bigger than the stock one. But it seems as they are going to fit perfectly. That's how you install your RAM. You might want to just check so that the retention clips are up. Try not moving. Okay, so now we have our case here and our power supply. And this power supply has two Molex. Uh, one, two, three. Three, uh, three SATA power. Uh, you have your 20 plus 4 pin uh, you have your 4 plus 4 pin for uh, either a 4 pin or your 8 pin and then you have a 6 pin or a 6 plus 2 pin sorry and now here we have a uh, all our screws and accessories that we need for this case So we have another one of these. And then we have a motherboard speaker, standoffs, the all the screws you're gonna need. And they give you pretty much everything anything you're gonna need here. And now for a front IO. Oh, oops. Now we have our uh, HD LED power LED power switch. This case doesn't have a reset switch. And now we have HD audio, USB, and two USBs. And this rear fan is controlled by the Molex which looks like it was slightly damaged and now our IO shield so looks like this is going to go in this way
Okay, so there is the uh, the, uh, the IO shield in. And now we can just put all our cables and get ready to put in the motherboard. Okay, so as you can see, this case comes with one standoff already installed. And now we have all our other standoffs and this little hex tool to put them in. Now this is a micro ATX case because it has a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, spots. And now I'll come back to you when the rest of these are done. Alright, so uh, as you can see, the motherboard is in. We just need to screw it down. So some of the stand standoffs I put in were slightly wrong. Let's see the, the I.O. And now we just take the screwdriver. Right, so we decided to put our hard drive here because um, we probably should have put it in first. It's not going to go in here with the FX cooler on. So we put it here where it's still going to fit, but we're not we're not actually fitting a five and a quarter inch or a three and a half inch. Uh, well, anything in this build, and uh, no one really uses DVD DVD drives anymore. They're they're a waste of twenty euro. So. Yeah, I think I'm gonna gonna screw this in and I'll be back to you when it's done. Okay, so uh, this is one thing that I really should have done. When you're building a computer, you really have to plan ahead. And well, uh, as you can see, even though our SATA is going to be a right angle, we're like getting anything in like that. It's a bit close to the RAM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew it. And let's call this hole A... B and C. C is there. So rather than using A and B, we're going to use B and C. Okay, so we decided we should take the fan off and uh, we're going to put the hard drive here. Now I have it moved back as far as it can possibly go. This really does not want to go off. 
Okay, so now that we have that in there, this will be a little bit easier. Now, I still have to put two screws in the other side, but I have two screws in now. Well, that will work. It will go in there, and then the other one will be able to fit because it's not hitting against the ram. This one is, the, this cage is pulled out a little bit further than in here. So, that should be alright. Now... Screw didn't fall. I have two more screws to do. So we have our HD audio in, you can see it there. Now uh, we just have to kind of reroute it through this uh, this grommet here because it wasn't actually fitting. But uh, once the SATA goes in, it should hold this cable down quite nicely. But I'm not going to put that in yet, I'm going to put in my USB. And now, your SATA. Put that in. And now I just have to lay the case down and do the front panel connectors. I'm not going to do that on camera because it's too hard to do. Okay, so uh, you can see the 24 pin there. It was a bit tight to get in with the hard drive, but I managed to get it in. And now, put in the 4 pin. We could pretty much just stuff it here out of the way. Doesn't look too bad. And now I'm going to I'm gonna hook up our uh, fan. That's the rear fan in, and I will hook up our side of power. Okay, so we have everything wired up now, and it didn't actually turn out too bad. It's a little bit neater than I thought it was going to be. I thought they'd be going everywhere. But um, on the bright side, we have an extra Molex in case you ever get another 80mm fan to go here. Uh, that's what the front intake is for. And yeah. This is 
I'm actually quite happy with the way this turned out. Okay, so that this is the computer built. All I have to do is put on the front panel. We even have the motherboard speaker in. See it there. And there we go. That's it built. Now, that will go up nicely with a big, a fairly big screen.